One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. Praise and thank God instead of complaining. Moreover, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud, all passed through the sea, all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. But with most of them God was not well pleased, for their bodies were scattered in the wilderness. Now these things became our examples, to the intent that we should not lust after things as they also lusted. And do not become idolaters as were some of them. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to play. Nor let us commit sexual immorality, as some of them did, and in one day 23,000 fell. Nor let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed by serpents. Nor complain, as some of them also complained, and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now all these things happened to them as examples, and they were written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the ages have come. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1 to verse 11, New King James Version. Let's consider a story for a moment. A man was homeless and sick. He approached what seemed to be a rich man and asked for help. The rich man promptly gave him a few dollars, and the beggar walked away in the horizon. The next day, the rich man noticed the same beggar and thought to himself, There is more that I can do for this man as he has no place to live, no guarantee of a meal any day of the week, and the weather is changing. If he stays out in this cold, then he will freeze to death. Because of his compassion, the rich man opened his home so the beggar had a warm place to stay, fed him every day, made sure the man had clothing each day, and nursed the beggar back to health when he was sick. However, the beggar always had something negative to say to the rich man. He would say, the bed you gave me was too hard. The food you supplied was not to my standard. I don't need anyone to babysit me. I can take care of myself. Of course, this hurt the rich man's feelings because all of these things he did was out of a place of love in his heart for a man who could not take care of himself. Well, this short story is really about our relationship with God. God saw us struggling with sin and being lost. We were sin sick souls. So he sent his son to die for us so that we can receive the free salvation available to us by the grace of God. John chapter 3 verse 16 and 17. God makes sure each day to provide for us because all of our earthly needs are fulfilled by him each day. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. He comforts us and gives us peace during our difficult times. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3 and 4. He has even prepared a place for us to be with him forever. John chapter 14, verse 1 and verse number 2. However, we often do not see how blessed we are because we focus on all the negative things in life. If only we would praise instead of complain, we can see how much God does for us daily. If only we thanked him for all that he does for us, complaints would not be a part of our vocabulary. The children of Israel were really prone to complaining, and it brought God's displeasure upon themselves. Let's not follow the same path in life. As the old saying goes, we bite the hand that feeds us when we complain and not praise. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ. 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901. www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.